Good morning, Ethereum holders. This is Do News, and I am your host, the King of Do. And right now, we're taking a look at the markets, and uh, just going to do a quick market recap and update what's been going on. Um, I didn't get to you guys yesterday because the markets were going crazy. There was this pressure building. There's momentum going. Um, lots of coins just moving in ways that are not normal. And so um, I got caught up and lost in that. Um, I'm also looking at building some more mi mining machines and things like that. So spent some time um, investing in my future. Um, but now it's time to invest back into you guys right now. Uh, and that's what today is all about. Um, I've got uh, my new monitor setup coming in so I can be more productive. My office is wrecked right now preparing for all of that. Um, I've got a six monitor stand set up right now. So even my camera angle and everything is a little different, a little, little wonky. But uh, bear with me guys because who cares? Ethereum broke $300 and there are a lot of happy people right now out there. Uh, the news is spreading about Ethereum. People are asking questions. People want to know what's up. Um, it seems like every single weekend we're hitting new all-time highs, and we've done it again. Um, so we're looking at the Polonex right now. We're looking at the last 24 hours, two days, last two days on the 30-minute candles. You can see here that last night there was this momentum building. We just kind of shot up out of nowhere. We broke the Bollinger Band, triggered a bunch more buy orders, kept that pressure high. And now we have a new trajectory, and it's looking really, really good right now. Okay, that being said, um, this is against the BTC, which is a critical indicator of Ethereum basically taking over the world and uh, on its path to dominance. Um, it's, it's just not stopping. It's crawling very, very slowly to uh, that level. It's going to take some time. But there's more than enough uh, room uh, for some gains to happen between now and then. So keep stacking your Ethereum, guys. Keep keep long. Don't day trade. Just hide it away. Buy one for your wife. Buy one for your kids. Um, lock it away in a wallet. Um, and it's going to be a great ride. We're having a good time with Ethereum. Okay, we're going to go over here. We're going to take a look at the rest of the uh, coin market cap. This is real time being updated right now. I appreciate um, the gentleman who showed me this site. This is great for the videos because um, it's in real time and I don't have to keep hitting refresh. But essentially, uh, what we see here is we've, we've got a 1.5 billion right now, which is real strong. We've been holding strong above that 100 billion mark. Um, and as news spreads about this space and um, people share the 100 billion mark um, news, uh, it's becoming stronger, right? We're going to have stronger support build up at 100. So um, it's starting to feel like 100 might be the new bottom um, for the foreseeable future, um, which is a really good thing if you're if you're concerned about what's going on in the total capitalization. That's just my opinion um, of what's happening um, as we continue to move up. So it looks like here we'll be at 1.6 soon. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we hit 107 by the end of today based on the amount of volume that's happening right now. Uh, Bitcoin right now is sitting at 2870. Um, we could see Bitcoin respond to the Ethereum move soon. Um, I'm not sure what it would do. I would believe it would like to gain its uh, some of that dominance back because it lost quite a bit. Um, and that's pretty normal. And so we might see it uh, creep on up here to the 2900 range. We may be looking for a new all-time high this weekend. Okay, so things to point out here, BitShares. BitShares is something I've been following for a long, long time. Um, it's out of control. You can see these candles here. Um, uh, it's been a great ride owning Bit BitShares. Um, this is starting to look a little too pump and dump, just my only my opinion. Um, the exchange works and everything. It's a pretty cool exchange. BitShares is really cool. And I'm going to cover that in, uh, in my next video today. So make sure you subscribe. Come back to that. I'm going to go over a little bit of BitShares. But as you can see on the BitShares here, it's just kind of exploded. Um, it's literally uh, 900 million right now. It's hard to wrap your brain around the fact that BitShares is worth what Dash is for many people. Um, and... 
I just I have trouble I have trouble believing that we're looking at a uh, a top um, ten coin and bit shares right now. I think there's some cool features there. Um, I think that top twenty is um, even that is an, an aggressive stance. Um, so, just my opinion on bit shares there. Uh, strictly my opinion. A uh, part of its ability to move up so high, Stratus has had a nice pullback. It's looking like some good buying opportunities. Every time it dips, I'm, I'm like, ooh, piece of candy. Because um, the Stratus is great. See, um, I can see Stratus being um, potentially uh, taking over a number five or even number four or someday even a three spot. Um, as far as my forecast goes um, and what I'm, what I'm targeting. Now, that's just my target for Stratus. And so whenever I see a nice little dip, I don't mind getting that. It's nice and sweet little piece of candy. So make sure you guys are looking for little pieces of candy and all this chaos. Uh, Waves is having a, a little bit of a pullback, but not really. Don't forget right now that because uh, Bitcoin has had a, a, a good run, that everything is a little bit off. So if we actually look, um, we pull back in the 24. Let's get some good candles going here. You can see that we've actually moved up in the last 24 hours um, a little bit. And so uh, you may have some coins that are saying that they're losing money, but they're not. Um, they're probably staying the same in most cases, staying quite level if you're pegging it against the USD dollar. Okay, so um, BitShares. BitShares basically blasted up this chart um, at an incredible rate. I'm not sure where all the momentum and the hype is. People are still confused because there's really no amazing news that's coming out about BitShares. So um, I will say this. Uh, what, I, what, what has happened, and it's very, very clear, is if you come over on Polo, you can see that Digibyte is getting wrecked um, over the last few days. And uh, here's look at this downward trend. This is the 30, 30 minutes. Um, there you go. Here's four days. The last four days, you can see. So... It's, it, it's lost its momentum. High volume, super high volume. See over here on the left, not much, holding steady. Then high volume in a downward trend. Um, the ride was fun and hopefully you got off at the top. I hope you guys are paying attention um, to what's going on. But Digibyte's days are over. Um, essentially there was never really any big news that came out, so. I'll talk about that again on my on my next video, but um, what's happening is I've seen this happen before, guys. Uh, when Ripple had its run, money started leaking out, and then Stratus started having a run. Or Stellar, sorry, Stellar. And then Stellar started having its run, and so all this money poured out um, and went into Stellar. Because of that, Ripple lost its momentum. Begin this downward trend just like this one right here that you're seeing on my screen, exactly like Digibyte. Um, it, it stayed level for a while, then it went down. Just it's 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 literally the same thing happening again and again, and because of that, Ripple crashed. And since Stellar is practically pegged to Ripple right now, they both crashed, and there's really nothing left. And crash is a strong word. I'm not, you know, you know what I'm saying, guys. It it's uh, had a significant, very significant pullbacks. Um. Digibyte's pulling back now. It's coming back to reality, and um, which is a, a good thing for the markets. Um, a good thing for Digibyte owners if you're able to get out and get back in later. Um, I do like the technology. There's some good things about it. I'm not a hater on it at all. But um, essentially, when this happens, people start looking for the next thing, right? They're looking for what to put their money into, what's People always want to get on that next penny stock that's going to blow up, and we've seen folding coin blow up, and then all the money pour out of that into something else, and um, it just happens over and over again. If you pay attention, close attention, you'll see it happening, um, and it's happening again. And what's happening is this bit shares right now. The money leaving, pouring out of Digibyte, pe people are panicking, saying, screw this, I'm going to go on to the next thing, and people are coming over, and they're buying some bit shares now. This is ridiculous right here, how high it got. This is nuts. I'm not going to lie, guys. The valuation on this, for what it is, is very, very high. In my professional and uh, non-professional opinion only, 
I am not a uh, in you know advisor on investing, but um, I know when something seems off. Uh, this is a little off right now, and uh, as you guys can see, it's still trucking. Just since I started this video, up 50, 50 million, um, and now we just lost twenty, and now we just gained ten. It's absolutely crazy volume, um, moving up and down. And uh, high volume in this space usually means it's going to go up. If you ever see a coin that doesn't have a lot of volume and it's real cheap and volume pick up, picks up, it's going to explode usually. This type of explosion is because there's really nothing else going on, I guess. From what I can tell as far as other altcoins, there's not many places to really be sticking your money right now. Um, and so the pressure is just building there. Um, congratulations to everyone who owns it. Um, I made a nice... Uh, pretty penny um, but I got out and I'm looking to get back in at something reasonable and that's just my personal position on it you do you if you're to the moon on it um, I hope uh, to see you at the top um, I just want more bit shares at a lower price right now um, steam is starting um, it seems very, very steady right now in this mid uh, $2 range uh, for all you Steam fans out there. Well, a lot of people invest their time and energy and money into Steam, and you've been rewarded as of late. Uh, but let's not forget, a week, two weeks ago, we are at $0.80. Cents. Um, so Steam uh, gaining some momentum, gaining some Steam. It's a beautiful thing. I um, hope you guys are hanging out with me on Steam it. Um, other things I'm noticing, um, Golem, um, guys, is, is practically pegged to Ethereum now. If you guys uh, pay close attention to your Golem holdings against Ethereum, it's just something that you should be looking out for um, and trying to understand uh, why that is. Um, I've noticed it for quite a while. And really, it's because Golem is still strictly speculative. It's still you know a four-year roadmap they've got. Um, however, you know, we have a great leadership team, Vitalik's behind it 100%, believes in it, things like that. So, it's kind of crazy, uh, speculative, but at the same time, it's tied to Ethereum. Um, right now, I don't know if that will always be the case. I have not seen any other EC or 20 any coins doing that, so... Um, Golem has been doing that for quite a while, that you will see a similar, if not exact, up and down movement with those two coins. Um, Lisk. Lisk is just rocking. Uh, it's a little out of control in a good way. Um, I do believe that it um, should land in the $4 range. It may have already hit it um, right here. We're just sitting at um, 381 right now. I haven't checked Lisk today. But Lisk is great, and uh, I'm a big fan of Lisk. Um, here you can see Digibyte falling all the way down to 21 right now. Um, it's going to be a while before it falls to 22, but um, there's quite a there's quite a delta here between these two, and so uh, just be a lookout for uh, Digibyte to slowly creep away. So the question is this: if 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 Digibyte is holding the bottom. You know, all these coins up above, if, if the big delta between the two is here, is, the question is which one of these coins here are going to pop next. We've got Genosis, Game Credits, Made Safe, uh, Factum, Basic Attention, and uh, Decred. Basically sitting uh, just, you know, between 2 and 280. 200 and 280 million, to be exact. Which one of those is going to break into the 300 and gain the momentum and start driving into the top 20? That's the real question. Um... The King of Dew's pick is uh, Factum here. Feel free to tell me what you think um, and what you believe in. Uh, I, my, my personal opinion, strictly, on Factum is that as um, professional money, professional money, we're talking institutions and banks and uh, professional uh, long-term holder traders, people that know what they're doing, um, as they begin to um, learn this market, um, very quickly they'll understand that Factum is absolutely in no way, shape, or form a joke coin. Um, not even close to that. It's a very, very serious project making uh, some very, very serious business solutions happen. 
um, and uh, they have some great backing as well. So that's my pick um, because uh, we're going to be seeing more and more professional money enter this space soon. Um, this craziness and chaos um, over time is going to not be so crazy and chaotic. We are going to see the true um, stars shine. And Factum has always been and continues to be a true star in all of this in that it does not respond often to major market movements. It has its own life. It doesn't rely on anything else. And so um, Factum uh, is going to be a place where people continuously want to have a piece of that in their portfolio. Um, and so um, I don't know if it will make a big strong move. Um, in order to get to where it needs to go, we need to see it break up to about $35. Um, I believe it can without a doubt. Factum is my uh, one of my target coins to be that um, $100 coin um, in the next three years. I have a long outlook on that, but I also thought we might hit $100 on Ethereum uh, by the end of the year at one point. So here we are today at $300 on Ethereum and we're having a blast. Um, so other than that, um, I think that's really it. Just wanted to give you guys a market update. I appreciate you guys coming in. I got a lot of videos coming, so don't leave yet. Um, I've got more videos coming out today. Um, I'm probably gonna schedule another live stream for you guys. You guys really enjoyed the question and answers I did, and I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Um, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Let's spread the word of crypto, get it out there. Um, and your guys' thumbs up help, helps it get seen out there really well. Um, follow me on Steemit. About to break 200. Help me break 200 on Steemit. 200 followers is huge for me. I am, that's incredible for that platform. Um, and I'm really, really excited about that platform. And if you haven't checked it out, it's the weekend. Take some time and check it out. It will be worth your time, literally monetarily. You will literally get uh, steam in exchange for your time, your energy on that platform. And so make sure you guys check that out. Um, I hope to see you all on the moon soon with Ethereum. Continue to hold and continue to compile, continue to stack, continue to mine, whatever it is that you do to get that Ethereum um, you know, set a goal for yourself, whether it's weekly, per paycheck, per month. Um, and I'm only talking to the believers out there. I, hear, I know that everyone is for the long haul. But um, if that's you, that's the way to do it. Whatever coin you believe in, that's the way that you want to do it. Stack it over time. Um, you know, it, and uh, keep it happening. Keep it happening, guys. All right, so um, I will be back soon. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys shortly. I am the King of Dew, and may the Force be with you.